It started when I was in third grade and I was always getting bullied because I was bigger than everyone else. I was very different. And everyone would just look at me like, like I was an alien or something. I remember walking through the hallways and this guy was, he was just so mean. He would always make fun of me. And he spit on my back once and he called me fat. He literally spit on my back and called me fat, shoved me. It got to the point where my best, my own best friend would call me a fat beast when she would use my phone and say to her boyfriend, calling me a fat beast. And you would think that your own friend that you trust would never say that about you. And it just got to the point where I just couldn't take it anymore. I stopped being her friend. And then her friends that she made would look at me in the hallway and laugh at me and call me a fat cellulite lard. And I never, I still didn't understand why someone would do that. And I would tell the teachers all the time and the teachers wouldn't help at all. They acted like it was nothing also. And then when they did do something about it, it would get even worse. And people would bully me, bully me more because their parents would be called and what's the fun of that, you know? Why wouldn't harassing someone be taken care of? Why would the principal just love to see a little fat girl being made fun of? I remember one time in freshman year, I went to Israel for two weeks because I just wanted to get rid of all this stuff that was happening. I was just so sad and no one should ever have to be sad. Like honestly, it's terrible. And there's really only two other, there was only two big girls in school, it would be me and another girl and people would make fun of her and she, like she's a very nice girl, she plays sports and everything and people still made fun of her because she was big. And people are so judgmental and it really sucks because you can't be yourself anywhere. It's heartbreaking because I just can't breathe at certain times. I can't, I just can't concentrate because you're sitting in class and all you think about is the people in back of you laughing at you. So it's about junior year and I found out about the surgery and it was a gastric bypass. And my mom told me about it and she said, if you really, really want this, if you really think that you can do this just I promise you like you're she told me I was allowed to do it so I promised her and everything and we were going to the doctors for it and they kept telling me that they wanted me to gain weight just so I could get it and you would think that you know I'm trying to lose weight why would you want me to gain weight for it it's just you're losing the weight that you gained it's it's sad it's disgusting I gained 60 pounds for the surgery because the doctors told me to gain weight and the day that I found out that I wasn't getting it anymore was very heartbreaking because I found out that I still needed to gain at least 20 more pounds. My bones weren't big enough but you would think that a week before I'm getting the surgery they would tell me, no, your bones aren't big enough. So I'm, I look at myself in the mirror and I just can't, I can't deal with myself. All I see is just someone that doesn't need to be alive right now. So I came to Mindstream and it's a health and wellness school and I lost so much weight, maybe like 30 pounds already and it's, I just don't, like I, it's, it's so ha it's like a happy thing realizing that you lost so much weight. It feels so good because everyone just like looks at me now. Back home I, I show pictures like to my friends and stuff and maybe even if I'm like on Facebook you see a picture of me before and then after and people are just they look back to everything they've ever said like I had people telling me messaging me telling me how immature they were how it breaks their heart that they actually would say the things that they said to me and slowly since I've been losing weight I don't like I as much as I do want people's respect it's just I don't want them in my life anymore because they did so much to me that traumatized me but it made me the sh a stronger person, it made me who I am right now and I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. For people that are getting bullied now, I just want to say keep your head up because you are beautiful in every way, shape, or form and there's always going to be people to put you down no matter what. You just can't give them satisfaction. Tiptoes on the bedroom floor
world is quiet.